Hey guys, Truck 37 here. Welcome back to another video. And this time we're trying something different. Some I haven't really done on the channel much. Uh, I did this once in a stream a while ago. This is NASCAR Heat 5 for those of you who do not know and do not follow NASCAR NASCAR racing games. Uh, we are using the 2021 Cup Cars mod. Something that I've been doing on my own, just in my spare time. I've been running the regular season alongside the real life season. And uh, I've been running as a 23 car just to see, you know, well, what all could be coming out of that 23 car. I'm just, obviously this isn't an exact simulation. I just wanted to see what I could do in it. So far, the results have been pretty good. And I've been thinking, you know what? We're coming into the NASCAR playoffs. Let's run each playoff race and make a video series out of it. So this is the first video of the playoffs. Here is the regular season standings just to catch you guys up. Or oh, it's the playoff standings now. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. was our regular season championship in my running. Again, this is not the real one. This is my own. Uh, but he's the regular season champion. And you can see right here, right behind him, is yours truly. Which, it's I, I, it's kind of confusing how this works, but I am three points behind him. I don't know why it's saying I'm two points behind him. But I am second in the playoffs as uh, we're going into the round of 16 here. I think I could be pretty locked in. I ran at Darlington earlier this year, and I did pretty well. I can't remember if I won it. I don't think he was one of the ones I won, but I knew I was pretty good. I remember that much. We got Kevin Harvick, Brad Keselowski, Joy Logano, Tyler Reddick, Austin Dillon, and Denny Hamlin for your first eight here. And as we get to the bottom half of the field, we got Ryan Blaney, Chase Briscoe, Kyle Busch, Ty Dillon somehow made it in. I think he was our Daytona 500 winner uh, in this, so that's why he's in here. Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, William Byron, and Alex Bowman. The Hendrick boys are the final four going into the round of 16. We'll see if one of them can turn it around. But yeah, we're going to be running this on 25% race length, and uh, it's going to be this oh, point standings and playoff grid. It's the same thing right now. Um, we're going to be running this on 25% with four times, for, you know, tire wear and fuel consumption that way it all is somewhat realistic and uh 25 gives us 92 laps at darlington obviously i'm going to edit it down but let's go ahead let's go ahead let's get into darlington i'm going to go ahead and qualify and see where we're at i know we don't have actual qualifying but there's no way i'm starting dead last for every one of these so <laughs> let me go ahead and qualify and uh let's see where we end up all right qualifying's over good job I did not have that great of a qualifying run. I tapped the wall and I was running the inside line for some reason. But we're coming into this race 24th. I believe in real life they're starting the, the 16 playoff drivers as the first uh, 16 in the field. But uh, this is where we're starting. Let's see what I can do out of it. You can see there at pole position, Kyle Larson. And then obviously right beneath him there you got Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch. Everyone's running throwbacks. Uh, let, let's, let's see what happens here as we go into the race. It's going to be interesting. All right, coming into Darlington here. Let's see, we got William Byron, who does just not look like himself today. Uh, Kyle Larson is our pole winner. There he is in the five. And Matt DiBenedetto, Matty D, crashed during qualifying. That's rough. So he's going to be in the back. All right, let's see who we're starting with here. We got Chris Busher on our outside. Cole Custer and Christopher Bell in front of us as we go green at Darlington. Let's see what we can do here. Had a good run here earlier in the season for the throwback race. What are you doing? Bush are sending us three wide in turn one. It's not working. What are you? <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. Bro, what was that? Why would you do that? You send it three wide in the turn one, and then you, you you go right up in front of us like that. Like obviously it's gonna cause a wreck. Now we're on the outside of Christopher Bell. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't like this. I don't like the outside line. Now I already have a Darlington stripe on my car. Hey. We couldn't even get the race started. We were. <laughs> Not even through turn. Wow, her bush checked up. Um, we we didn't even get through the whole freaking. We didn't, no one even went through turn one really. Before all that happened. Like Jesus, dude, relax. Ooh, sorry. 
That was my bad. Arlington Stripe. Whoa. Oh, we got a yellow. And a bunch of people are starting to pit by the looks of things. Um, some of our Toyota teammates are pitting. So I'm wondering if we should too. I think it would be a, a good call to pit personally. So we'll do it. Yeah, they would get us to the end of the stage. And I'm guessing people are putting tires on. Uh, we'll just go right sides because the left side seemed pretty fine. I like the way the car handles, so we're going to be in the back anyway. It doesn't matter. We'll see what happens. We pitted, and we are in back in 24th. We are literally back where we started. So I'll take it. Let's see what we get out of this. Because they cannot make it on fuel. Just fuel alone, they cannot make it through the rest of stage one. Nothing I could do about that right now. They're sandwiching me, bro. I do have full damage on, so we'll see what happens. Full damage, AI is turned up to 105. We'll see what we get out of this. These, these AI are getting pretty aggressive, man. So I'm going to start getting aggressive back. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it. All right, Kyle Busch, let me buy, please. Got a car Had to out. tap the brakes because he was just hanging out right here. Yeah, Kyle Busch is the right idea. Get around this guy. Y'all are slow. I'm sorry. It's just y'all are slow. Damn outside. Don't force me down on the inside. Not below those dotted lines. I know you touch those and you are dead in the water. Getting really loose off a of turn two. I want up top. Nobody out back. Back it down. I wonder who wrecked. Let's see what we can do here. Have a good day. Drive smart. Car outside. All right, clear outside. Five to go. This time by. This bot is working today. Working hard. Well, he was. Got too loose, man. We just gotta watch for the guys with tires getting very Oof, aggressive. I don't have the grip I had before. This thing fell off. No one's really driven off with this race, though. I think Kyle Busch is looking really good, though, right now. Especially up there in that lead right now. Right side. Okay, don't know what happened, but someone wrecked. We just got third in the stage, like I was calling. It was getting pretty close between me and Matt Benedetto right there. Um, max fuel. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll max fuel, four tires, and fix her up. She's looking pretty beat up there. All right, coming out of that, we're, we we fell back to ninth, and uh, it's starting to turn a little dark outside. We got the lights on. And uh, we got Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch in front of us. We're next to Denny Hamlin, our team owner. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can make happen here in stage two. Stage one, third place finish. I'll take it. Let's move on and see what we can do here. Coming into the beginning of this stage, Kyle Busch is still your front man. Wow, we got really loose off of That's why I went down like that. The car just. What was Suarez doing? I didn't even know he was there. We're behind the Freightliner car right now. Freightliner Mustang of Brad Kozlowski. That's weird to say. Freightliner Mustang. And, okay, why? <laughs> Just why? A little confusing to me. Who, who wrecked? I don't... Eric Jones. At least I think. And BJ McLeod, I don't know, or maybe they're just pitting because of the caution. Um, th I think this car is more of a long run car. Because in the short run, I'm not really going anywhere. But once you know, the run starts going, I start passing people. So, 
I, it's hard to tell if it's a short or a long run car, but I'm thinking it's a long run car. With how this has just been. It holds its own in the short run, that's for sure. And I mean, I can get there. through people, because we're all in a pack. But I feel, ooh, see? That wasn't me. That was all the car. It just keeps doing that. Every time we get out of turn two, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. That was not great on my part. Inside is where it's at for me. See how much speed I caught on that. And kind of got in the bunny there a little bit. God, they checked up. That scared me. We're holding our own right now. And someone wrecked again or something. I don't know. I'd love to know what's causing these cautions. Uh, I guess we'll pit. Everyone else is pitting. And we fell back to 13th. So we're mid-pack right now-ish. We're towards the front, but we're dropping a little bit. It looks like uh, Kyle Busch dropped a little bit too up there. We're behind his brother, Andrew Lagana, right now. Just next to us. Austin Dillon. Alright. Wow. Got sent right to Logano. We got Larson behind us. He's pretty good at this track. Wow! What were y'all checking up for? I was hoping I could sneak through. Oh, no caution? Oh, screw me. Okay. No caution for that. Okay. Well, now we're in last. I don't know what they were all checking up for. Someone did something. I was just hoping I could maybe sneak by uh, on the low inside. And uh, didn't happen. I should not have done that. But I also didn't want to end up in the back of, I think that was Lagana. We finally caught up to the pack. I wouldn't say the lead pack because it uh, looks like the pack's all kind of broken up. Eric Jones is leading right now. Whoa! Balicki! Take it easy. Why are you all checking up so hard? That's what I didn't want to do earlier. Which is why I'm back here to, to begin with. Why did we all slow down like that? Snake past him. Oh my god. I don't know what happened there. I just know I was starting to get a little uh, antsy. And then I got into Chastain, and then Truex came up from behind, it didn't help the matter, and then that happened. Sorry, Watermelon Man. Now, Truex, right there in that 19 car, Truex is indeed my rival here, technically, even though we are Toyota teammates. He is my rival because he is the regular season champion, and he is the points leader right now. He's the one spot between me and championship. Yeah, you know, he's he's that number one spot. I you know it'd be nice to say that I'm in the lead spot of the playoffs right now. Don't need it, but you know, he's technically my rival, so he may be racing me hard because of that. And end the stage, I, we didn't even make it to the line. All right, we made it up eight spots with that, and we got. Alex Bowman and Kurt Busch in front of us. I, I swear, I've been behind Kurt Busch all night. And we got Cole Custer next to us. The Custard Man. It'd be cool if he had like a Custard, like sponsorship. That'd be funny. All right, we'll see if everybody checks up here. I'm ready for it. Yep. Everyone checked up, and of course, Cole Custer just used that to his advantage. Whoa, Almarola! I keep kissing this wall. But what was Almarola doing? You know something I've thought about? Is that, uh... Whoa! What are you doing? He just sailed in. He didn't come in turn one. Anyway, I did not see him coming. That Right there, on turn two. I think I remember reading something about a repave. For just turn two at Darlington. We, uh, oh, he just, he just had a tire go down because he sent it in. There's no repay for us. Obviously, there is in real life. So we don't, we'll have to see how well that shakes up the real race tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow as I'm recording this. I guess technically the race is happening today as this video comes out. 
supposed to do a prior seat after that race, but you know. Okay, that was illegal for me to do, but NASCAR Heat 5. Um, it's not that long. Okay. I think we'll be able to make it to the end of this race based on where we're at right now. As long as I don't wreck the car, we should be okay to make it. Uh, I know the fuel, looking at the numbers there, was six laps off. But you got to factor in the caution laps and all that. So I think we're actually, let's see, 16 laps of fuel estimated in my car. And let's see what we get at the line. 18 to go. So we got about two laps left. If there's another caution, we do, we're good on fuel. I don't think we got winning speed tonight. Something's different about this than it was. Excuse me. Sorry about that, Bowman. I mean to intrude, but okay. But you keep checking up out of my way, bump and run. I swear this game makes it more dramatic than it is. I don't want to pass him yet. I'll wait to do that till now. And another caution. Why? I have a feeling because everyone's paying. We're good on fuel. We don't need to pit. But I think, forget the fuel. We'll be fine. I know it's too late. Eh. You know what? We'll put a half can in there. Just let those extra in case we have more cautions. I'm more worried about tires and fixing the thing. Well, I don't really care about repairs. I, I kind of need a time stop here. We'll do it. <sighs> mm hmm. They didn't take nearly. I think they might have all just taken fuel. But it's, now I have fresher tires, so I might be able to make something up. And then Davison. Speed it up, my guy. You're not helping matters. I'm going three wide. That was what I was hoping to do earlier when I spun out. That was kind of my fault. That was kind of my fault. Oh, we're making it up. These these fresher tires are starting to kick in now that these guys are all wearing out. Again, I... That was my fault. We're green again, though. I want that inside lane. And yeah, these newer tires, I can hang on in these corners a little bit better. With a little bit more speed than they do. No pressure, eh? No pressure. Uh-huh. Hey, look! The guy that I'm behind all the time. Nobody Coming to two to go this time by. Yeah, that's a wall. Yeah, I ain't winning this thing, folks. I will take a top ten, though. I'll take a good run. I don't need to win everything. I'll take a good run. Up, Eric Jones. How you doing, buddy? I would like this spot Still from you. There. Thank you. All clear. Appreciate you getting out of my way. Just for me to hand it back to you. If I mess up. Alright, white flags in the air. Hoping I can work on this. I think that's, what is that, Harvick and Kozlowski? Or is that Blaney? I reckon somebody. I'm hoping I can catch him. That's Kozlowski. Hoping I can catch Harvick. I'd like a top 10. I don't need one by any means, but I can snag one. I will snag one. Thank you. Thank you so much, Harvick. No. This is my top 10. Yeah. I <laughs> got a top 10. I'll take it. That's a good first run. I get some of those were my fault. I'm sorry. Now we got to watch the replay. But I'll, I'll take a top 10. And the speed rating was 103. Oh, Jones goes out and around. Oh, he collected Bell. Oh. Hi, Dylan. Well, there's one of our cautions right there. Ouch for all of those guys. Oh, oh look! <laughs> it's my spin out. I love how they just show the ending of it. And I got it back going. And it, 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 love how it's not even caution. It's just me spinning out. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Why did the yellow flag fly? I don't see anything happening. Okay, we got a little bit loose. Oh, yep, there it was. <laughs> that was Chastain. Whoops. 
Yeah, I, I know why the yellow flag, yellow flag flew now. Oh, this is where he cut a tire. Cause he sent it in right here. Bell sent it in on me. I was just kind of minding my own thing. He sent it right in. And then he cut a tire after that. Ricky Stenhouse and Alfredo. Oh, yep. That was also my bad a little bit. Slightly. He could have had better car control. In my defense. Alright. In my defense. And then end of the race. Racing Harvick to the line. Oof. That's a close one. <laughs> that is a close one for sure. I wanted that spot, dang it. Alright, so we're coming in here off the back straightaway. Why did everyone check up like that? Then I thought I could go on the inside. And didn't work. And then I got the car going again. Like, did they check? I don't think this will show up, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, they all just checked right the heck up. And then, yep, there's where it stepped out. I thought I could have done something with it. Like, no. Let's see the cinematic view from this. Oh, it's just gonna change it for me. Alright. I'm all over Logano's rear, trying to get us places. And then everyone checks up. And then, yeet! All she wrote. Kinda confused why. They did that, and then also, how did, like, I, I see how it stepped out from underneath me. I was running on that line, but, like, I hate to do that. And then no caution. Just no caution, you know, that's just fine. Okay, so I'm over here minding my own business. I was about to say something coming over this. I think I already started to say something coming over the line. And then coming into turn one here. Look, he just barreled it in there. I had no idea who was coming. He just went straight into me. And then he cuts a tire eventually. All right, let's see who won this thing, shall we? Kyle Larson is your race winner, so he is moving on to the round of eight. We got Martin Truex Jr., who this is one of his best tracks, if not his best track. So, I'm no surprise to see him there in second. There goes Jones. Oh, but kind of bad. But he 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 rallied back. I think where did he end up? He ended up 12th, so going from that to 12th, hey. Uh, then you got Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Ryan Knight in top 5. I bring home a top 10 right in front of Harvick. What was the point or the, the time margin there? Point, what is that? It was like a thousandth? Two thousandths of a second? Right, because there was hundreds of thousands. Yeah, two thousandths of a second. That was how close. The ending was wow. So, uh, yeah, you got your top 10 right here. Here's your top 20. Well, Kurt Bush, the guy we were behind all night, he brings home 13th. Here's your top 30. Here's your top 40. But there's your uh, finishers for this Darlington race. And here's the playoff grid. So, you can see right here that, oh, wow, I've never actually been in the Cup Series playoffs in this game. So, this is uh, it's a big table for me. Uh, you can see right there, Kyle Larson has indeed advanced. He has five playoff points. I believe he had a stage win, or is the race win count? I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that he's advancing. Kyle Busch has two playoff points. I think maybe it's a playoff point per stage win. I, something, I don't know. And then, like, five for a race win, something like that. I don't know. What I do know is that Kyle Larson is indeed advancing. You got Martin Truex and then myself in third. So I, we are behind Martin by... I don't trust these. I... The, the math of this game is off sometimes. Uh, yeah, Larson's not advancing on points. He's simply advancing on a win. Uh, but I am behind Truex by nine. And then Logano is behind us, or he's behind me, by 15. And then you got Harvick behind by 17. And Bush behind by 19. So... We're all kind of within a race of each other. I think the Hendrick boys are still at the bottom. There's Denny Hamlin in 10th. Okay, so Chase Elliott, he gained quite a few spots there. And then you got two of the Hendrick boys, Ty Dillon and Chase Briscoe. I have a feeling that those guys just sitting at the bottom. This could change easily within a race. But I have a feeling that those guys there at the bottom are uh, 
Those are going to be your first out of the playoffs, I'm thinking. And there goes Ricky Stenhouse. Ricky Stenhouse going around. <laughs> it is Darlington finished 10th. And you got Richmond. That's where we are going next. Richmond is one of my absolute worst tracks. So, I'm not feeling great about this one, to be honest. I think with Richmond, I'm just going to have to try to keep my stuff together. Like, that's about all I can say about Richmond. It's just, I, I'm just going to hope I can keep the car in one piece and not DNF. Because, uh, I DNF's off, but, um, Richmond, it's, a uh, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> it's, it's a short track I suck at, so... I think we're going to dip in the point standings after this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm thinking about making this into a whole little series, a whole 10 week, 10 video series. You know, it's been a while since I've done any like set video series. I think it'd be cool to do this alongside the real NASCAR playoffs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe as you know, as usual, you know, YouTube stuff and um, Truck and Gaming Discord should be in the description below. Join it if you're not in there already. You can get uh, you know, stream updates and all that kind of good stuff. I interact with you guys all the time in there, so be sure to join Discord. And uh, that being said, I'll see y'all in the next stream or uh, next NASCAR race, whichever uh, whichever comes first. And there I go spinning out. That was my spin. Yeah, see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, take care. And I'm going to try to take care of this car for next week.